Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video of our place. So this is the front yard. Dogs don't come here and the front yard. That's a greenhouse. <laughs> and this is the kennel area. So I have been um, weeding and cleaning up plants and stuff this morning. So it's kind of the mess. Here's the girls. <laughs> the old girl. So these are the indoor-outdoor kennel runs. Um, we have six of them. I don't think Mr. Govna is going to be able to get out of these unless he can climb six-foot-high fence panels. So, and I have the privacy panels up there. Um, because if I don't, they kind of tend to bark a little bit. Oops. And then this is part of the backyard. The dogs get up, get to come out here. I mean, they're out here. <laughs> but I can separate it if I want. So I always say this is a good yard, which, yeah, we're working on some grass. <laughs> And this is the dog yard over here, which both yards are dog yards. <laughs> so yeah, this is the natural yard that I was kind of saying that the dogs can, like they can dig and, and climb on rocks and do whatever they want. Cause this is, this is just natural landscaping. And the fence has an underpinning all the way around, the fences do, where there's um, chain link that goes underneath the fence and has little spike things on it. So they can't, they could dig under, they could try to dig under, but they're just going to run into chain link that's buried in the ground and they're not going to be able to get through. So, um, yeah, the yard is... Coming back from winter, we've had a hard winter and it's really affected our lawn in a bad way. So here's the kennel area. This is a heated, air conditioned, everybody's got their name up there. And they all have a non-chewable cot. I have some storage here. All my, well not all my wind pictures, but a few. And this is, maybe I said this, heated and air conditioned. This is where I feed some of the kibble that I have to substitute. I have my old girl not eating right now, so she's getting kibble. So, and this, now we're going to go into a super messy area. <laughs> I'm loading stuff in my camper or caravan for the show and it's just a, it's like a bomb went off so don't look at all the crap sitting everywhere normally it's very clean but have the puppies in here here's a refrigerator I keep the dogs food in here's my two litters um, I whelp them in the house I have an office in the house in our basement and that's where they're whelped uh, in a whelping pen and then I move them out here the litter boxes and all of that um, by the time we get home from nationals these puppies are going to be half of them will be gone already i've got some people picking up at nationals and then um some of them still have to go to their homes so people are going to pick them up right when they get home like i said it's like see a, it's like a bomb went off everywhere so i have a washer dryer sink water heater water softener storage this is where the dogs sleep um, at night in the kennels here, or crates here. So, and then that's my, that's my dog show van. <laughs> that's uh, all this stuff has to go in. I have a treadmill for in the winter to get exercise. You guys are messy. I have one litter that is extremely messy it's taken them a while to learn about the litter boxes. And this litter is really clean. Huh, guys? Babies? So they're five weeks old yesterday and tomorrow. So 
that's it. That's where Mr. Govna and Miss Crumpet are going to live. Just to reassure you guys, I don't think they're going to get out. Um, and if the governor goes and stays with Tanya, she has um, vinyl fencing, and they have concrete all the way around their fencing, so they're not going to get out that way. Anyway, so here's it. I can't wait to get them. I seriously cannot wait. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys. I don't know how uh, much I'll be able to like even visit at all while I'm there. Um, I'll just kind of have to see. Anyway, have safe travels, and I will let you know when the babies get here. Thank you so much, you guys, and I hope you have an amazing trip to the U.S. and Mexico.